Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be super rushed, but it is my October, November and December favourites. I don't really know if it's much from December. Um, you may notice that I'm sick and I'm going to be literally racing through this. I have to get ready to fly to Sydney. I'll be in Sydney for about three weeks-ish, maybe kind of, almost. And there'll be a lot of videos coming out for you guys, so get excited for that. But let's talk about some empties, shall we? You guys all know that the duo that I use is Rexona Invisible Dry Pure Anti White Marks. <laughs> I don't know why I always do that because I really don't want the autofocus to change on this. Uh, you may notice my hair is different. I don't know why I told you that, but my hair is different. Total change of subject, but yeah, that's the deodorant that I use. <laughs> oh, will I buy again? Yeah, I have like three more. Look, here's one right here. <laughs> so, I'm getting more. I will always use that one, I think. Next is the Pearl Drops Professional Intensive White Tooth Polish. Not toothpaste, tooth polish. What did I think of this one? It was really funny. And it wasn't as whitening as I thought because when I look at the ingredients, it says that there is some high percentage of some good thing. 0.988% uh, uh, sodium monofluorophosphate, and that's the active ingredient. And I was like, cool, it's almost like 1%. However, when you compare it to the other toothpaste that I finished off, uh, this was 0.321%, but that's sodium fluoride, and this is different. So for some reason I feel like this, or the stronger version of this, this is just the 3D White. There's a 3D White Intensive that I also use. I feel like that is stronger or better or more lightening or whatever than this one. And this one I just didn't like because it doesn't give you that like frothy, cleaning, feeling thing. So I prefer the Oral-B version to the Pearl Drops one. Which is weird because I used to be a massive fan of pearl drops to be honest with you. So I don't know if I'm just getting the wrong thing or if I don't know, or if this is just better. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, those are two empties. Will I repurchase this one? Maybe not. I might try and hunt down the one that I do like from this company. Will I repurchase this one? Yes, I'm pretty sure I have like ten different like I I bought so much toothpaste. I do not know why, but I went on like this crazy toothpaste kick. So I have like the Col uh, Colgate one, I have three different Earl B ones, and then I have the white strips, and I have the, oh, the mouth rinse. Yeah, I finished the mouth rinse as well. I really like my teeth. I am like a massive fan of brushing my teeth and keeping my mouth clean, and like, you know, white teeth. I don't know if they're white on camera, but they're, they're kind of white. They're kind of, ah! But yeah, I do want whiter teeth, and I care for my teeth, and I have never really had too many problems with my teeth, to be honest with you, except for needing braces, uh, and uh, one filling, and two fake teeth. But that's totally beside the point. <laughs> um, finish those toothpastes. That's, that's a fun story. Uh, the Oral-B 3D White Lux with White Lock Technology. I don't know what the hell. I love it when companies make up something and then they go, yeah, it totally has this technology. Like, we invented it. And it's really just, you know, you're making stuff up. <laughs> don't even try to fool us. Like, White Lock Technology. What the f does that even mean? What, what does that mean? What does that mean? Oral-B, talk to me, honey. What does White Lock Technology mean? Because I know there's probably hundreds of people who buy this because they're like, wow, white lock technology, that sounds so good, but I'm just like, what? What? I'm just buying it because it's got pretty purple packaging and because it goes with my toothpaste and my white strips, to be honest with you. And do I think it's whitening? Yes. Uh, even though it doesn't claim to be whitening, it just kind of removes stains, which I guess is all that whitening is. I don't know. I feel like it is whitening. Oh, they've got sodium polyphosphate, whereas the um, pearl whites used mono, I think? Monofluorophosphate? Oh. I don't know, I'm not a chemist. But there is hydrogen peroxide in this as well. Holy crap, you can, ooh. Okay, definitely don't swallow this one. That's kind of scary. But yeah, so it is, I guess, whitening, and I guess I do like it. Uh, it's kind of really, it foams up in your mouth. So it's like one of those really fluffy ones that gets thick and slimy. It's not the best texture, I'm not gonna lie. And it doesn't burn like some do, which sometimes I kind of wish it did. But it's pretty, and I like it, and I use it, and it's nice. Anyway, done with it now. Here is an odd fake. Oh, actually, no, we'll stay on the tooth kick. I finished up a floss. That was upside down. I finished floss. And apparently 
apparently I'm just like an Oral B fan girl because this is from Oral B as well, but I really don't. Actually, I don't think you can get floss from any other company. If you can, let me know in the comments down below because I want to see if there's actually like a, you know, like an art to floss. If there's like a really good floss. I get this one because it's normally the cheapest and it flosses my teeth. <laughs> I don't know. But this is in mint, which is extra refreshing. It's just floss. I don't know why I'm talking about floss. Like it's some kind of super bougie thing, but it's not. Done with it. Now onto uh, supplement finishing thing. Supplement empty. This is the Modere natural mineral drink in their support range. This stuff um, is basically like the, if you guys have heard of black water, which is like, really clean, mineral dense water, I guess. Uh, it's the healthiest water you can get, I think. This is like the black stuff in black water. So if you want to make your water into black water without buying bottled water, you can get this stuff. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. It's got a whole bunch of minerals in there from the Alpines. So the Alpine Moor Mineral Extract. Ooh, ooh, oh, yes. Mm. Um, so bougie. Mm. Uh, this stuff basically makes your water into black water and it it kind of tastes nicer, I think, and it's definitely more hydrating when you put this in it. Like, you know, sometimes you'll drink water and you'll feel like, uh, uh, there is a little bit of salt in water and for some reason I find that with this, it's just more hydrating. Because, I mean, it gives you minerals while it gives you hydration, so... I guess that kind of makes sense. If you want to shop Modair stuff, there is a uh, link down below as well as a coupon code so that you guys can get $10 off your order. Check them out because they've got <laughs> all kinds of things as you guys saw in my Modair haul. You can get pretty much anything and if you need anything, check there first because their stuff is really safe and really healthy and really good for you and the planet and animals. It's good for everything basically. <laughs> Next empty is a hair dye thing. This is the Manic Panic uh, manic mis <laughs> the Manic Panic Manic Mixer Pastelizer. This is basically like a cream base that you put dyes into to make them less intense. And I mix this with my Manic Panic Black. I don't know what the actual black color is called. Onyx? Onyx? Mm. I don't know, but the black one. Um, Raven? I, I actually don't know. I'm going to stop thinking about that to make my hair grey and I don't think it was as successful as I wanted it to be but when I mix the black dye into my conditioner I got a really good pigment but I don't think it really made me the grey that I wanted to go when I don't know how to do the grey that I want to go so we'll just forget that but I have finished this. Will I repurchase? I don't think so to be honest with you, I really don't think so. I don't know why, I just... Uh, yeah. I might repurchase to see if it works as, as like a toner see if it works that way because I know that Fudge has one called the white, pastel white or something and that one um, I use to tone my hair which works really well and it's kind of really nice but that one is also their version of this where you mix it with your dyes to make them less intense so I might try this as a toner for my hair because I like to experiment with products, I don't, I don't know. And the last empty, like I said, this is just really quick, kind of trying to just get it out there, kind of trial. Anyway, um, the simple kind of just skin cleansing facial wipes have I repurchased. Yes, I'm already like halfway through the next packet. Not really much I can say about them. I don't know, I feel like they do the job. Uh, you know, they take things off your face and then your face is naked and there's like and then your face. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, not much to say. Uh, will I purchase? Yes. Will I try others? If you leave recommendations down below, then yeah, sure. Why not? So guys, that is all for my empties for October, November, and December. I uh, hope you guys are having a very merry season. <laughs> I don't know, holiday season. Um, and you guys will see me in the next video. Leave your recommendations for replacements down below and make sure you check the link down below for my desk stuff because I have an amazing coupon code for you guys, like I said, so you can get $10 off your first order. And if you want anything else, then just let me know in the comments, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching and I will see you later. Okay, bye! <laughs>